President Emerson Omingagwa has condemned the assassination attempt on former U.S. President Donald Trump, expressing solidarity with the American people and drawing parallels to his own experiences with political violence. The president, who has himself survived multiple assassination attempts, including a near-fatal bomb explosion in 2018, expressed shock and revulsion at the attack on Trump, highlighting the dangers faced by political figures in a world increasingly marked by intolerance and violence. Zimbabwe followed the news of the attack on the former United States of America president and presumptive Republican Party presidential candidate, Mr. Donald Trump, with shock and revulsion. President Mingagwa said in a statement, On behalf of the government and people of the Republic of Zimbabwe, and indeed on my own behalf, I wish to extend to you my heartfelt sympathy and condemnation of the cowardly attack, which also led to loss of life. He added, the president's statement, while expressing concern for Trump's safety, also served as a poignant reminder of his own harrowing experiences with political violence. In 2018, during a ZANU-PF rally in Bulawayo, a bomb exploded just inches from President Umningagwa as he was leaving the stage. The blast, which killed two of his military aides and injured several others, including ZANU-PF Chairperson Appa Muchingiri Kashiri and Vice President Kembo Mohadi, was a chilling reminder of the dangers faced by political leaders in Zimbabwe. It exploded a few inches away from me, but it is not my time. Those who are trying are likely to go before me. It's my usual enemies, people outside of Bulawayo. President Umingagwa said in the immediate aftermath of the attack, he added that he believed the attack was not orchestrated by Bulawayo residents, as he had received a warm welcome in the city. The 2018 bomb attack was not an isolated incident. President Umingagwa has been the victim of several assassination attempts over the past few years, including a poisoning incident at a rally in Gwanda, which occurred amidst the factional battles within ZANU-PF. In 2014, Shortly after being appointed vice president by former President Robert Mugabe, Umingagwa's office was broken into and forensic experts discovered cyanide. He also survived a mysterious car accident in October 2014, which left his vehicle extensively damaged but miraculously left him unscathed. The president's experience with political violence, while deeply personal, also reflects a broader trend in Zimbabwe and across the globe. The rise of political intolerance and the increasing use of violence to achieve political goals pose a serious threat to democratic processes and the safety of individuals.